Hello, today we are traveling to Beijing. <laughs> Beijing even. We're at the airport in Stockholm and very sad because we found Rudolph and the reindeer. <laughs> Should be practical on the on the flight to Tokyo. I think. We just boarded the airplane and are ready to take off from Stockholm to Beijing. And then from there to Tokyo to Tokyo. And here come the rest of the guys. Because you recognize that the seats get smaller and smaller the more you get to the back. The business class not much bigger, just a little bit. And they can't make them really flat like it used to be. So it's like the worst business class ever. <laughs> That's right. That's what we tell ourselves. At the airport in Beijing, having a lovely lunch. Oh, what's the news? We made it! Yay! Okay, we made it to Tokyo, we made it to our hotel, and everybody's waiting for me in the lobby, so I have to get ready. Typical woman, but um, I just wanted to show you this before the, the steam fades on the mirror. <laughs> I don't even think that the uh, most luxurious suite at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas has like heated mirrors like this. And look it, they definitely don't have noises on the toilet and built-in bidet and all that stuff. Do 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 do. And look at my view. I know I did this the last time. However, I'm going to do it again because it's so cool. My room is super small and I'm trying not to kill myself here. But look at that. Hello, Tokyo. Hurry! Hurry! We are in Tokyo. Hey, you are. Waiting for the... <laughs> Waiting for the food. <laughs> so... I was finally able to get myself downstairs, ready and downstairs, after the guys were waiting for me for a half an hour. No, but uh, we're now we're going out to check out where we can where we can eat, and this is kind of what it looks like around here. Very cool, and these crazy vending machines everywhere. We'll see what we find. I have a hard time sometimes because I don't eat anything that comes out of the water. I wish I did. My life would be so much easier. Not not even potatoes. <laughs> Potatoes don't come out of the water, do you they, they boil to the water. Message is clear. <laughs> Please wait for a while. Woo! Here we are at the Tokyo Tower. We're gonna go up here. This is the the Japanese version of the Eiffel Tower. And uh, let's see what it looks like from the top. And here's the view from the very top. The bustling city of Tokyo. And we want to know what that down there is. That looks cool. So here we are in Shibuya and we're headed to the Harajuku station. We're in the Harajuku district and where all the fashionable people come. Crazy fashionable people. Ed Migo! <laughs> the most fashionable. Look <laughs> <Yes. laughs> eating seafood. <laughs> mm. We had a very yummy lunch and that was that was it. Oh no, that was it. And the other guys had this. And was it Rekka? Yeah. Tasteful. Here we are once again at the Prince uh, Shinagawa ballroom, and we're gonna go on in about a half an hour. Or 30 and minutes, or yeah. 25 plus 5 minutes. And actually, we're all very tired. We're all very tired, a little bit jet lagged, but we're still excited to play, right? Right, exactly. But he's there, Michael!
We're up in the main tower on the 39th floor having breakfast and it's been just lovely. Except for that. I don't know. That's scary. <laughs> so it's wonderful. We're about to take off. We're going for another flight, long flight, to San Francisco. Our favorite flight. Oh yeah. And actually our favorite one is the one from Mexico City to Toronto and Toronto okay. to yeah. Sao Paulo. That's the favorite one. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, it's been lovely staying here. This is a great place. And we say, Sayonara, Tokyo. Bye bye.